Good evening, everyone. Welcome back to Pitch Black Dungeon. So we're making our way through the courtyard, um, slowly. Fortunately, we brought our best for this job, some of whom still don't have upgraded weapons, and I should sort that when I get a chance. Um, now, it occurs to me, I don't actually know how many rooms are in this dungeon, so I'm not entirely sure where to camp. Um, I guess we'll aim for six, but if we're doing okay, we'll, like, push on for seven. Because they did say this would be a little bit longer than a normal dungeon. Uh, nobody really needs healing, so why don't we just try and smite these guys, because I don't particularly like them. Man, Mortmain not doing great on the, uh, smiting. Reynold, on the other hand, could potentially just straight kill one of these guys, and does. Decimated. Stacking stress on the vessel now. I do not appreciate that behavior at all. Now, you have, like, no blight resist, as opposed to your friends here. But I can't actually hit you with blight. Alright, well, let's stun your buddy. There we go. So he doesn't get a turn. And that should give Dismas a good chance to... Slip a real whack on you. Ah, he gets to go first. Alright, but he's like, we need to do him 4 damage, and then he'll die on his next foe. Okay. He did something. Ah, he gave himself a buff to stun chance, so presumably his next ability will be a stun. Destroyed. Um, I don't know that he's gonna get a next ability, though. Nope, he's dead. Yep, he's just dead on his next turn. Alright, uh, yeah, let's uh, heal some people. Or you can heal Renault, or er, uh, Dismas can only heal one anyways. And then more main, get Renault back up to full, or close enough. And then we start, and he is the weapon that cuts on its own. Cool. I will take my 175 gold. Joys of... See, this is like, the Crusader, this team is just good at everything, and I really like them. The only thing they're really missing is a stress heal. Pile of strange bones. Sure, let's just throw some, like, stuff at it. Nothing happens. Alright, uh... Dismas, you have no stress and full health. You poke it. Nothing happened. Alright, cool. God, I keep... I keep looking at the torch thing, because I'm like, I should use a torch, but I can't. It's not... It's like a habit at this point. I want there to be above 75% torch light. Oh. Oh. Hello, multiple paths. All right. Anyways, what is this? Throbbing cocoons. Uh, we torched one of these before, and we don't really need our torches, so... Okay, that just doesn't do anything. I'm... Okay, so there must be some other object that actually gives you something if you interact with those, because otherwise, why would I bother touching them? Yeah, I'm not sure what those are doing. Anyways, let's do the two-length hallway first. See what we can find here. God, I gotta stop. I gotta stop. Like, I hover my mouse over this because I'm looking for what percent the torch is left, but it's not. Uh, regenerating carrion eater, regular carrion eater, manservant, sycophant. Well, I definitely want the sycophant dead. Let's give Dismas his nice buff, though. I don't think any of them have a marking skill. There we go, more main. Yeah, see, Mortmain doesn't need any more stress right now. Infallible servitude. He is guarding. Ah, damn, we don't have anybody who has a guard break either. Alright, well, I guess we'll just have to kill everybody. Wait, what? Oh, I see, the healing is independent of the damage. Oh, the healing is... Of course, he's regenerating. The healing just happens at the end of his turn. Actually, like Renault can just kill these dudes, like, trivially. In fact, I'm just going to buff Renault. We're just, he's just going to kill everything for us. That's my plan. Okay. At least I'm targeting someone who isn't more main. The Thirst. Well struck. Okay. Interesting strategy. Regenerate from that chump. Uh, we're just going to keep buffing people because everybody has taken no damage. Nobody has any bleed effects on them or anything. Might. Oh, right. I forgot that guy was doing that. Whatever. Uh, well, if you're gonna do that, just have some damage. Oh, you're resisting. Okay. Uh, 
Okay. Corpse got three health back. Some of the corpse abilities are kind of weird. Um... I don't know if there's really much point in doing this, because when it's Pippin's turn, she can just clear all the corpses anyways. Like, we may as well just guarantee the kill on this guy. Because I don't think... Yeah, that doesn't do enough damage. Oh, missed. Almost guarantee, I should say. Oh no, they're stressing Renold out. I'm terrified. I'm really sad that everybody who's low damage is getting to go first. Because Renold could just end this guy. Oh. He turned into a thing. Alright. Well, I'm sure that was a good plan. I just don't think he counted for Renault to just murder him in one go. Not a lot of people seem to count for that. Alright, that thing is almost dead. That thing is dead. Their formation is broken. Maintain the offensive. Oh, here we go. Uh, the blood is a special type of supply item. Any collected bottle of the blood will be retained in your estate at quest end. They may be added to the provisions of embarking parties. The blood is rare, spread it around wisely among those in need. Um, okay. And that does something, but I'm not entirely sure what. Also, we got more anti-venom, which is good, but we haven't actually encountered all that much blight yet. Well, we may as well keep going this way, because I don't want to backtrack back to the central room we were in, and then, you know, backtrack back out here. Hello, potted plants. Uh, what happens if we light the plants on fire? Nothing. Uh, what happens if we... I don't have any other items that I think are going to do anything to the plants. Anti-venom, maybe? They have some spare. Nope. Alright, uh, let's just have Dismas poke them. It gave us scouting. Oh, wow. This dungeon is uh, getting quite big. Alright, well, let's go... Poke this Kyrio. There's probably another battle in here. What in the hell? Uh, mysterious figure, not fully human, not fully insect, kneels here on the ground. What if I give it the thing that we got? Hey! Plus 2% crit, plus 5% stress damage received, minus 3% virtue chance. Ugh. That's kind of shit. Ah, whatever, I'll sell it when we get back to town. I guess I'll we'll just... Yeah, Dismiss has taken, like, no stress damage. I'll just give it to him for now. He should be fine. We can take it off him later if it looks like he's building up a lot of stress. Alright. What's in this room battle then? I'm, I'm liking these, like, short hallways with lots of rooms and branching paths and things. I think it's a cool, uh, cool dungeon layout. Hello. A hideous what? mutation. Unnatural and abhorrent. Sorry? We're fighting a bunch of... Plants? And this guy's got two attacks. Alright, well, um... Oh, he's got 108 health. Alright. Well, that's the thing that needs to be sorted. Uh, I'm just gonna have Renold mark himself. And buff himself a whole bunch. And hopefully he a can... Uh... Confluence of skill and purpose. Now, these things... Oh, these things have all the damage over time resist. Oh, and they have a bunch of health as well. Alright. Well, what if I just shuffle him to the front? Or slightly closer to the front, I guess. Okay, well, there went one of his turns. Uh, why don't you just heal Renault up to full? Because I'm concerned about how much damage this guy might do. Or if he has an ability that marks... Or... Oh, okay. Okay. Alright, well, the plants don't even get, like, turns. They're just in the way, I guess. Okay. Uh, Mortmain is building up a lot of stress. I am not liking that. Right, you need to swap forward. You can actually do things from the back, and we can just let Mortmain... Yeah, you'll be fine from where you are. Ah, crud. Alright, you are gonna clear her bleed. There we go. Okay. Take that. Uh, oh, you can actually do things from here. Not useful things, but things. Yeah, you're just gonna shift back. Next turn, you'll get a chance to heal. Alright. Um, I need him to be a little bit closer so that we can try and get some... Oh no, he has a bunch of resists. I do want him to be closer, though. Precision and power. Closer will let Renault, you know, do things. Uh, let's see. These things all have a bunch of resists, so 
Uh, Pippin's not going to do any damage to them. But, we can buff Renold and he can try and clear them real fast. Um, what? He healed himself. Ah, oh, you jerk. Alright, yeah, you need to heal yourself more, man, because you, you took a lot of damage last turn. Apex Predator. I'm sorry. I think Renold is the Apex Predator you'll find. And you've brought yourself into his reach, which is very kind of you. Have some damage. Ah, please stop dragging this player to the front. Or Vestal. Oh. Yep, yeah, there we go. Reeling. Gasping. Taken over the edge into madness. Alright, I'm gonna leave Mortmain to backstep on her own because I want Renault to just hammer this guy while we get a chance. Because he does all of the damage. Alright, you. Okay. She doesn't want to be healed. Well, in that case, we're going to stack some dots on him, maybe. This, I don't think this is going to work, but this is also his highest damage ability. Yeah, just like straight up, so even if he doesn't get the bleed. No, yeah, he's got 90% bleed resist. I was not hopeful that was going to do anything. Oh, yes, please pull Renault to the front. Oh, damn. That was unfortunate. Okay, you... Ah, good, she marked herself. You need to back up. And hopefully Pippin will get a chance to heal you. Lurking fear. Ah, I'm not liking the plus 20% damage. It's not really going to help you a whole lot. Because Renold is... Okay. Ah, everybody's building up stress. Alright, you need to back up one more step. Go. And now let's just keep on hammering this guy. And you. Okay, good. We got the blight. We got the bleed cleared off. Ah, the blight went rough. Okay. Ah, we're fine. Wait, wait. Is he like shooting like flies out of his spine? Okay. Now heal yourself. Yes. There we go. That's what I like to see. Renold, if you don't mind. He's so low. Hey, he's pulling right into the front again. God damn. Okay, she actually resisted the move this time. She's bleeding. Which is fine, because Pippin gets to go. There we go. Sorted. He's gonna try and pull her to the front again. Okay. We're fine. Hello, my friend. Ah, he's gonna heal himself. Okay, only for a tiny little bit. Is it enough? Barely. Wow, if he hadn't healed himself, he'd be dead right now. Just keep on curing out that bleed there, Pippin. Ah, I see he's he's learned his lesson about Apex Predatoring Renold. The flesh is knit. He's dead though. Destroy them all. Hey, hello. This expedition at least promises success. What do we got? 100 gold. We got Bedtime Story, which is a crossbow. Or a crossbow bolt. Plus 15 accuracy versus marked. Plus 5% crit versus marked. 35% debuff skill chance. 35% move skill chance. 25% protection. Wow. <coughs> Excuse me. Um... Broken Mask, Placeholder Art, plus 10 Accuracy, plus 16 Dodge, minus 20% Disease Risk, minus 20% Protection. Plus 25% Virtue Chance, plus 25... Why is some of the text grayed out? What does that mean? I mean, clearly this is like the Leper's thing, right? That's the Leper's Mask right there. Um, but it doesn't say Leper specific, so I, we should give it to anybody. In fact, I'm just going to give it to uh, Dismas for now. Hold on to the crossbow bolt. Oh, we got more scouting. Oh, scouting just told us there's a room. Cool. I had kind of assumed there was a room at the end of that hallway. But, uh, it's good to know that's there. There's also a blockage, and we are out of uh, shovels. So I guess the important question is, are there more rooms beyond that one? 
Well, also, I need to know if one of the things we're looking for is in there, which I don't. Still, how many rooms have we done? Because, uh... Okay, we're on seven, so this is probably a good place to camp. And, you know, hope that this isn't going a for much longer. Without kindling is a goal without hope. All right, let's get our 10% HP back. Uh, we need to get some stress reduction going. We need to get a lot of stress reduction going. Heal 50% is quite nice, and that would get basically anybody in the party back up to full. But the one I'm in interested in is the cleric. Or the vessel, sorry. Not too much D&D. Um, bandit sense is also good, so we'll make sure to use that. Now, reduce stress, remove mortality debuffs. Nobody has any mortality debuffs. Um, and we would be better off... Hmm. I don't have any uh, anything else to reduce stress on the Vestal with, unfortunately. So we'll encourage the Vestal, just get her stress down. Or she will just ignore it. Alright. Can you heal yourself? No, you can't. Oh, shoot, I didn't mean to do that. Okay, well, uh, I guess that's all we're doing for tonight. Oh, and everybody picks up a little bit of stress, because, uh, I'm not sure, actually, why. We've run out of- oh. Yeah, I don't know why everybody gained some stress. I assumed it would be something the Vestal said, but the Vestal didn't really say anything all that interesting. Who knows? Let's be on our merry way, go deal with this blockage that's in front of us. By hand. Without tools of iron, you must rely on flesh and indefatigable purpose. Oh shoot! I forgot about the trap. Curious is the trap maker's okay, art. Whatever. His efficacy unwitnessed by his own eyes. All right. What is in this room? Anything fun? Ah, this is one of the things we're looking for, isn't it? Yes, thronging hive. Burn that baby down. Okay, we've only got to find one more, and then we are done. For now, I guess we just gotta backtrack all the way back to this junction here. Well, one of these paths goes where we need to go. And one... Actually, you know, it doesn't... It doesn't say there's only three thronging hives on the map. So I don't actually know for sure that there's only one more for us to find. Because there could be multiple, and we only need to find three. Either way, we're gonna go south, because that's a shorter path. And also, I don't know that there's a battle down here. So we might just, you know, get really lucky. The other one I know we'll have to fight a battle for, so I'd rather put it off for the moment. Uh, ah, there are more rooms down here in another really short hallway. And a potted plant. Uh, I don't think we have anything to interact with the potted plant. Yeah, all of our objects do nothing. Bandages, maybe? Nope. Poke it. Nothing happens. Nothing even negative happens, it's just... Oh, alright, there's a battle ahead. Uh, well... Sure. Yeah, we're going this way, I guess. I don't really want to backtrack and take a bunch of stress damage. So what do you got for me? Uh, a supplicant, a sycophant, and a charming courtesan. That needs to stop. That needs to go away. Right now. Yes, Reynold, you are the ray of the light. Now, stun this motherfucker for me. Shoot, she, okay, she didn't resist the stun. Alright, good. Everybody is just gonna murder the shit out of this lady right now. I do not want to put up with that nonsense. Okay, good. She's just gonna die on her next turn before she gets a chance to do anything. So we don't have to worry about that anymore. Oh, charming enemies are scary. I don't like them. Gather the blood. Don't do that. One of your heroes has the Crimson Curse. Uh, the curse is not like other diseases. It can't be cured normally in the sanitarium. The only way to keep it at bay is with the blood. There may be other ways to cure it. Alright, that's good to know. Ah, so it's a buff and debuff thing. Plus 10% max HP, plus 1 speed, plus 5... Points. Okay. I'm assuming that, you know, it changes over time. Because otherwise... You know, I'm actually fine with her having minus 5% blight resist and then a bunch of, like, buffs. Anyways, blight this dude for me. I don't like him. I don't like him diseasing my plague doctor. Uh, 
uh, he... You know, for vampires, these guys actually have not that great bleed resistance. Un unexpected. Okay, he's dead. Oh, no, he's not. It's only three bleed damage. Alright, Morgmain, if you don't mind healing everybody. Thank you. And then this guy's gonna get a turn, and that's his last turn, because he's dead next time. Okay, good. He didn't give uh, Mortmain whatever vampire disease is. Crimson Curse. Alright, well, let's just beat the crap out of this freaking fly then. Uh, nobody else really needs healing right now, so why don't you just stun this guy? He's got 0% stun resist, so he's just stunned. Alright, good. He doesn't get a turn. Uh, get another part of healing here. There we go. Get everybody basically back to full, apart from Grenold, who's fine, regardless. Alright, cool. We win. Goodbye, supplicant. Slowly, gently. This is how a life is taken. Cool, we got the thing. Uh, I'm not gonna use it just yet, because the thing said it wouldn't cure. You know, using the blood isn't gonna cure the disease, it's just gonna... Yeah, um, shit, what was the wording they used? Hold it off, basically. Um, so, presumably what it would do is just remove the effect temporarily, and then the effect would come back when the blood wore off. So, probably not worth doing right now. Instead, we are going to go up, and we are going to fight this battle, and we are going to find ourselves another whatever it was that we came here looking for, Thronging Hive, and we're going to burn it down. I wonder what happens if we use a regular torch on the Thronging Hive. Can we even do that? I don't know. Anyways, uh, I am not going to bother poking these. Actually, do we have any items we haven't checked? Yeah, sure, try some anti-venom on them. Nothing happens. Uh, try a torch. Nothing happens. Alright, we're just going to leave then. Maybe the, the blood probably does something, considering it's a very you know, valuable item. But I'm not invested enough to do that. Alright, let's just get one last party heal going. Get basically everyone right to full. And... Who do I want dead more? I guess you. I still don't know what you do in your second form, because you stupidly turned it on right before an old smacked you in the teeth. Okay. You are quite good at dodging, though. I'm not sure I like that. There we go. Morbane is really focused on her parents. Okay, he's doing his guard thing, so we're going to have to focus him down now. Uh, this guy is going to... Just keep on trying that nonsense. I turned the whole party into vampires. Okay. Everybody, he's dodging a lot of things. And Ronald Ronald is just healing himself. He's got self-healing. He's already so good and now he's even better. Um Can he dodge things if I'm attacking other people? I don't think he can. So if we focus this guy, he should jump in the way and take all the hits, right? Well, that's my theory, and I'm running with it. Because otherwise he has, like, 30 dodge, and we... Ow. Ah, he did his thing again. Okay. Well. Have some blight, my friend. Oh, he's resisting that. Yeah, okay, good. So he won't dodge things if he's jumping in the way. Cool. That is actually really helpful information. Which I probably could have worked out on my own. Alright, what are you going to do? Choice cut. Oh, he's got a meat cleaver now. Hey, do you want to get in the way of this attack? Because, oh no, he's not doing the thing anymore. Oh, whatever. Renault doesn't care. Renault just likes killing things. Fire and death, you say. You just punched yourself. That's not... Uh. Main going all kinds of weird. She did get irrational, didn't she? Yeah, she did. That's why. Alright, well, he's dead. Oh, good. Pippin gets a chance to heal herself before this is over. Fantastic. Splat. Alright, 175 gold. Seize this momentum. Push on to the task's end. Oh hey, here's the other one, just out in the hallway. So what happens if I use a regular torch on it? Nothing. Yeah, I think we have to use the special one. Oof. There we go. Job the complete. maddening whine of multitudinous wings abates. Let us hope that is the end of things. 
We're gonna push on a little bit because I want to see what's in this last room over here. If it is even the last room, there might even be more stuff. Survey says nothing. There's a fountain. Uh, a damned fountain. Well, I wish we had some holy water because that would probably help us here. But we're just gonna pass on. Actually, this is like right at the end of the thing. Uh, Renold, hope the damned fountain. He's bleeding. Okay, that doesn't matter because we're leaving anyways. In those younger years, my home was a hive of unbridled hedonism. A roiling apiary, where instinct and impulse were indulged with wild abandon. A bewitching predator slipped in amidst the swarm of tittering sycophants. Though outwardly urbane, I could sense in her a mocking thirst. Driven half-mad by cloying vulgarity, I plotted to rid myself of this lurking threat in a grand display of sadistic sport. But as the moment of murder drew nigh, the gibbous moon revealed her inhuman desires in all their stultifying hideousness. Okay, our ancestor got up to some stuff. Uh, Alright, so we got the jester thing. Wow, that's nice. Eh, minus 15% max HP, I'm not hugely excited about. But still. Uh, and we got the Baron's Invitation, which I'm sure will give us something. And our heroes... Renald, the Apex Predator. Got the... Got the yips. He's not hiccups. And Pippin got Eldritch Slayer. Which makes sense, because Pippin's a freaking vampire now. These swarming beans carry a pernicious plague. A sickness so virulent, so insidious. It is more a curse than a mere disease. Okay. Uh, all regions will experience a growing infestation. Alright, that's something to keep an eye out for. Not entirely sure what that entails. Um, oh my god, Ren is finally done at the bar. He's moving sluggishly, though. Great. Oh, and Regami is... much better. He's got a buff. Cool. Alright, well, um, that, I think, is where I'm going to call it for today. So, thank you all so much for watching, and I will see you all in the next episode. Goodbye.